What's up guys, for Complex Hustle, I'm Kylie Marr. Uber has, in a way, become synonymous with the action of transportation. It's used as a verb, the same way we often say, Google it. The company has become so mega that most people are often shocked when they find out that Uber is actually not a profitable company. In fact, a recent report shows that in the first nine months of last year, the company lost $2.2 billion, and those losses are continuing. Sure, startups always face an uphill battle and lose money in the beginning, but for a company who was founded in 2009, has been widely used around the world for at least the past five years and is currently valued about $69 billion, how is it that they still remain unprofitable? First, here's a silver lining in the form of a precedent. Within Amazon's first six years, the company lost more money each year than the year before. It was an illusion created by Amazon's aggressive investment in growth. The company was spending a lot of money on warehouses and new software that would take a few years to pay off. Now, Amazon is a profit machine. It is very well possible that Uber is following in Amazon's growth model footsteps as we enter a different industry transformation. In the long run, self-driving cars are the future. Uber could be heavily investing in its autonomous vehicles, relying on its strong position in the ride-hailing industry as we transition into an autonomous market. Makes sense, right? If we're going to place our lives in a humanless vehicle, we're more likely to choose Uber over an unknown brand we have no history with. Which leads us to costs. Whereas Amazon saved money by not having retail stores and salespeople, Uber still requires cars and human drivers. Driver compensation accounts for 58%, while fuel accounts for 9% of its profits. By cutting out the human driver compensation completely, Uber will already be looking at a healthier profit. Uber has raised $11 billion from venture capital investors, which means they've managed to convince their investors that there's a long-term plan. It also means they have a few more years to turn their rate of losses around before they run dry. What do you guys think? Let us know below and for more business news, don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube. For Complex Hustle, I'm Kylie Marr.